are you all doing? Greetings to you all. Greetings to you all again. This is Elisha Ma. I'm just here again to bring you a word of encouragement. We can see that everywhere is loosening up according to the words of the Lord. It told according to the words of the Lord, which it told me, which I announced that anytime from the 15th, 16th of June, which will be precisely 61 days from when they gave me the word, he said the issue of coronavirus will begin to wind down. That everywhere will begin to open up and things will begin to go back to normal gradually. And not that we will not encounter a lot of challenges ahead, we still have to be prayed up, you know, be in the place of uh, prayer because we have a lot of issues that are still ahead of us in the world. But once you stay in the place of prayer and you get hooked up, you get hooked up in Christ, you will be under cover. And most importantly, begin to allow the word of God to dwell richly in you. Begin to allow the fruits of the Spirit to grow richly in you. That was why Jesus Christ said, the enemy came at me and he found nothing in me. That means he found none of his properties. He didn't find lies. He didn't find jealousy. He didn't find that he was a murderer. A drunkard, um, lasciviousness, revelings, emulations, you know, all the works of the flesh. He didn't find it in Jesus. So, those are what the fruits of the Spirit are for. So that when the enemy comes at us and he estrays our lives, he's not going to find any one of his works, he's not going to find any one of his fruits. It's only going to see the fruit of the Spirit. And I understand that these things have to be cultivated gradually. But you know, you won't even know how to begin to cultivate something that you don't want. Like if you want to grow a fruit, you must actually know the sort of fruit that you desire to eat before you will even start planting it. That is how, just stay in one lane, please stay in one lane. That is how the fruit of, of the stay in one lane and don't go too near any car. Huh? That is how the, the fruit of the spirit is. You just have to know that you desire this fruit. This fruit is good for your body, spirit and soul. That it will nourish you to the place of maturity in God. It will nourish you to the place of maturity in spiritual growth. And it will be a base to protect your life, to be able to, you know, build upon everything that God wants your life to be. So once you know that that is really important to your life and your existence, you begin to be conscious. It begin, uh, you know, it becomes an intentional. It becomes an intentional move, an intentional, you know, reason for you to do this intentionally somebody gets you angry you think it through to know how to respond somebody um, offended you you are deeply hurt you go to God in prayers to take these pains away from your heart so that you can forgive you are not jealous no backbiting you are not um, emulating anybody because your own purpose is clear to you um, you are full of love and then most importantly you love God with all of your life all, all. You, you live to serve him you live for the purpose wherein he has created you for you just, you just love God so uh, be intentional in all you're doing. Slow down, slow down. 
just be slowing gradually, eh? not speed. Eh? So, you are intentional in all areas of your life. That way, when the enemy comes at you at any time, because he will come, that is his, that is his uh, assignment here on earth. That is our adversary. Satan is our adversary. And the Bible says, he goes about like a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. So we are not going to give him that opportunity um, when it comes at us. Even if those fruits are not fully grounded yet, once we become conscious, the Holy Ghost will help us along. The Bible says he's the one that will help us with our infirmities. So whatsoever is happening with your life, and you think, oh Lord, this is too much for me. Um, I don't think I can deal with it. I don't think um, these fruits can grow in me. Believe me, it can. Anything God asks us to do, He knows we can do it. All we have to do is to ask the Holy Spirit to help us. The Holy Spirit is always available to help us. So it's going to help you and me in Jesus' name. God bless you. I just thought to share this word with you while I'm on the road. God bless you. Um, I can't believe I'm on the road going out. I mean, I went out a couple of days ago. This is actually my third outing since this pandemic started in March. Amazing. Who would have thought everybody would be moving freely right now? We are even in, in we are in a lot of traffic. There's so much traffic on the road. The word of God cannot fall to the ground. Never. Never. I always believe whom I've heard. And I heard him say, in 61 days, as of the days he told me, and the only thing I have in my memory was that I just calculated 61 days, and I, knew, and I know that 61 days will elapse around the 15th and 16th of June, 2020. And we can see a lot of things are just winding up, winding up, you know. Coronavirus is extinct. We call it extinct in the name of Jesus. It's a virus. It has its own timing. And as a watchman, I join my voice with as many watchmen in nations of the world, across the globe. And I declare coronavirus over in the name of Jesus. According to the words of the Lord, he said 61 days. And 61 days is in another one week plus. Or less, yeah. By the 15th, 16th, things will have, the coronavirus will have gone down. And we can begin to get our lives back in order. Though there are a lot of other challenges ahead, but God is able. The God that saw us through COVID-19 season will see us through any other challenge, see us through any other thing that might be ahead. That is ahead of us. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a good time. Have an amazing, amazing month. Enjoy your COVID free season because that is what it is. We are declaring that now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.